Hello everybody and welcome to Universal Studios. We are here for our first Orlando Informer meetup, the first night of the February meetup, and we could not be more excited to be here. Uh, Mardi Gras is about to start, they've got the park all decorated, it actually opens tomorrow. Uh, so we've got a couple of hours until the Orlando Informer event actually kicks off. And I think what we're gonna do is walk in the tribute store first and look at some of the awesome um, Mardi Gras uh, merchandise that they have here. But what are you looking forward to most tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Mm, the free food. Free food. Tons of food. <laughs> low wait times for all the rides. That's right, you yeah. haven't ridden Velocicoaster yet. So we gotta get her on all of the good rides tonight. And also, like she said, eat all the good food. So. Come with us and let's enjoy the uh, February Orlando Informer meetup here at Universal Studios. So they have moved the tribute store to where the pass holder lounge was, and I think it's gonna, gonna give them a lot more space to uh, add more rooms and a lot more merchandise, and I love it already. They've got Mardi Gras, like jazz music playing in here, really awesome. And some of the uh, merchandise so far is awesome too, so let's take a look at some more. What'd you find? Candles. Candles. <laughs> Anything good? Sure. <laughs> Here are the refillable cups that you can get. Those are super festive, love those. I found it. <laughs> I love it, it's awesome. These are my favorite right here, the rubber ducks. <laughs> Okay, so the first room was like a like a jazz club, and this room is definitely like um, like a street street market kind of thing. It's got uh, more of like a bayou feel to it, and the merchandise is a lot different in here. I love this room. third room in the tribute store is kind of like a speakeasy, but this is not the speakeasy we're here for tonight. Orlando Informer has a special speakeasy that we're going to go hang out at a little bit later, but uh, again, a little bit different merchandise in this room. I feel like a lot of it's almost the same as the first room, but I love the decor in here. What did you think of the Mardi Gras uh, merchandise? I liked it. Yeah. I especially liked the the bayou room. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We're gonna have to go back and get some stuff uh, later if, if the store stays open all night, but I think right now we need to go get some food before the event starts, right? We've got these uh, $15 food and drink gift cards that we need to spend up. Yeah, all right, let's go get some food. Well, I was just trying to spend my $15 gift card that you get as part of the Orlando Informer event, but uh, it looks like we've already switched over to kind of the unlimited food. Uh, they checked our wristbands when we came in, and so we just came over here to uh, Cletus's Chicken Shack and got some of the chicken tenders and tater tots. And I guess that's gonna be our first uh, first food of the night. It's probably not everybody's first choice, but like I said, I was just trying to spin my card and they've already switched over. So I guess we can save the card for next day. As we're walking around, we're spotting all the Mardi Gras booths that are up. And so far we've seen like Mexico, um, Brazil looks super good. We just saw uh, like Belgium and uh, I cannot wait to come back and try a bunch of this Mardi Gras food. It all looks so good. All right, we just got a, a escape from Gringotts. What'd you think? I loved it. It's awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. And to be able to ride it in like 20 minutes is even better, right? So we're just gonna keep going through the park and uh, keep uh, eating food and riding rides. I think some rides might need to come before some food. But we'll figure that out. All right, so you just rode Revenge of the Mummy for the first time too. What'd you think of that one? It's, I think it's my favorite right here. 
because I so loved fun. the yeah. loved the movie so much. So. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Well, Surprising. It's just now nine o'clock, which means that a lot of the different venues for the events are opening up. So we'll go see which one we want to hit first. We still got to look for that speakeasy. It's like right behind us over here in New York. They told mm. us to look for clues and they gave us casino chips as like our entry, like our, our like code word. So I have a feeling that it's going to be, well, it's Mardi Gras, right? So it's maybe it's like a riverboat or something like that. The casino chips have to play into it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll look for it in a little bit. So Louis Pizza is first and they've got pizza and meatball subs and cannolis and spaghetti. I think we're going to do a little meatball sub and maybe some pizza. You can also get a little Caesar salad, but no, not tonight. Cannolis for me. All right, let's take a look at this pizza here. It looks pretty good. Meatball sub. That's what I wanted right there. That looks so good. I'm gonna try to eat this meatball sub without getting my new, uh, new sweater dirty. Wish me luck. It's pretty good. We just gotta get right into this cannoli though. Oh yeah, good stuff. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so now we're full of meatballs and pizza. What do you say we go find the speakeasy? I say that's a good idea. Yeah, let's go get a drink and then maybe after that we'll uh, make our way over to Islands of Adventure and get you on a couple more rides. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they said there would be clues over here in the New York area. So we got to be on the lookout for some clues. We're going to go get a photo of Churro while we wait for the uh, speakeasy to open. Looks like we're here pretty early, so it's kind of an open secret about where, where it is. <laughs> no clues necessary, but we are uh, ready to go in. Check it out. This is what we need to get in. Poker chip with Churro's face on it. Looks like they've opened the doors and we've got our secret tokens to get in. Just, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready to get out of this cold for a minute? It's blowing. It's freezing out here. And the wind is blowing. It's not helping anything at all. I mean, it's like you're wearing a long sleeve. Yeah, I, I've got long sleeves on today. He's a traitor, though. I hate it. Midnight Mass, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're very, very head, head, devout. Head, head, head yeah, church? of course, of course. All right, all right. Well then, yeah. uh, bow down. You know, bow down. Have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. Mind your P's and Q's. Tip your bartender. Go for it. All right. All right. That's right. <laughs> Hey, we're in. We're in the club. There's like games. There's drinks. There's characters. No. Actors. <laughs> Let's go hang out for a little bit. And see what's see what's going on. Get some roulette. Sure. Let's play some roulette. Cool. We used to live in Las Vegas. We can do this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Roulette all the time. On the outside bets. I'm tired. Already. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bets in, bets in, bets in. Alright, I'm gonna go black again. I'm gonna go black. And let's do what do you think? Even or odd? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go odd. Oop, moving the table. Come on. Oh, of course it's red. <laughs> but I got odd. You didn't tell me you were like a roulette shark. Yeah, you won well. both times, both spins you got. Oh we got we got, got a visitor over here. Oh, oh, oh no, what did I do now? What was <laughs> no, that? I said we got a visitor over oh, here. Yeah, oh, yeah. here I am. Oh, there you are. Didn't mean to do anything. I just thought, you know, shut up. Yeah, you just, oh, you just, you see a camera and you can't help but put yourself in front of the lens? Is that what it is? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, see, no. look, it's flipped around. I, how dare I even not notice it? How do I look? Amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. 
Thank you. <laughs> Look, we left all our chips with that guy, so oh, if you're skimming you're pockets, so? yeah. I, can't help. I don't even have any pockets. <laughs> <laughs> We both got the uh, the special drink tonight, which is the espresso martini. Cheers. Cheers. It's not bad. It's got a pretty good like espresso flavor, right? Yeah. Hopefully it has the caffeine. Hopefully it has the caffeine that an espresso has, because I need it right now. Well, the speakeasy was a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, the characters in there are really good. And the drinks were actually pretty good too. And uh, we are now headed over to Islands of Adventure to go ride a couple rides. Velocicoaster is the one on the list that's a uh, priority. So we're gonna walk through the little secret tunnel here uh, beside Rip Ride Rocket Land in Seuss Landing. And we'll see you over in Islands of Adventure. This right here, is why you come to an Orlando Informer event. You get like the whole park just to yourself. It's really awesome. I'm so impressed. I've been so impressed by how quickly we get on all the rides. It's like practically a walk-on for everything that we've done. Yeah, the mummy was definitely a walk-on. I think we waited like maybe 15 minutes for Gringotts. But that was just because you had to wait for the elevators and stuff. Yeah, the right? like, pre-show stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. really because it was a wait. Yeah, we'll see what it's like over in Islands of Adventure. They've got some bigger rides over there, so that's probably where people are gonna wind up after they get their dinner and their, their drinks and stuff like that. So we'll find out in just a minute. And just like that, we're in Seuss Landing. <laughs> I've been telling Jolene like that the uh, Cat in the Hat ride is a little bit nightmare inducing. So <laughs> I wanna take her to it. So I, already, right. <laughs> I already think the Seuss animation is terrifying. <laughs> so we're headed on there and we'll, uh, we'll see what she thinks on the other side. Okay, give it to us. <laughs> it was, it was. Thank you. <laughs> it was everything I fear about Dr. Seuss books. <laughs> it's like so, I wish I could show it to you guys. It is really creepy. Like it's a little bit, it looks a little bit run down and like the animatronics and just everything is just like, just a little bit of nightmare fuel, I feel like. So Their now- Their eyes are like sunken in. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna go cleanse ourselves on uh, Velocicoaster. <laughs> we're headed over to the Jurassic World area right now. But oh it God. is really it is really nice to be here when it's uh, all lit up pretty and like there's not a ton of people around. I really do like this. Hey, let's walk in uh, Cafe Stupendous and see if they got any food. Cafe Stupendous, it looks like they've got some more Caesar salad, some more pizza. I think they have some buffalo chicken tots. Oh yeah, here we go. And like, is it like what, pizza tots? Yeah, pizza tots? You have the buffalo tots too? Yeah, perfect, thank you. Got them? Thank you. And cookies and water. Don't mind if I do. Looks like a brookie. Do you want to share one? Yeah, we'll share one. All right, have a bite. Let me see. What are you gonna go for first? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo tots? Yeah, buffalo tots. Mm. Mm. Oh, are they good? All right, you want buffalo, so I gotta go pizza top. Try to get a pepperoni out there. As like creepy and weird as the Cat in the Hat ride is, I actually really like the um, Circus McGurkis Cafe Stupendous in here. I think it's got like a really fun atmosphere and then there's like a little train that goes by up here from time to time. You can like wave to people. I do like it in here and the food is actually really good in here too. These tots are pretty good and then their regular menu. It's where I had that um, the, the roast beef sandwich for the like Christmas time, like the Grinch themed menu was really good in here and uh, everything else looks great too, so it's probably the highlight of, uh, of Seuss Landing for me is this cafe here. Check it out, the Lorax is out. How cool is that? Check out how epic this looks walking into 
the Lost City area here with the griffin all lit up. Looks awesome. Look at this, everything is like a ride now. How awesome is this? Even Flight of the Hippogriff and the uh, Forbidden Journey ride now. So nice. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. You might belong in... So what are you just saying? <laughs> I'm excited for you to ride it, but I'm excited to ride it because I love this ride and I haven't ridden it at night yet and it's so awesome. Look. Else are you ever gonna see ride now for Velocicoaster? So awesome. <laughs> Alright, well first time on Velocicoaster and second time we did it back to back. Yeah. What do you think? I loved it, but it's awesome, right? <laughs> I love it so much, yeah. The first time I like closed my eyes because yeah. I got so scared. It's so hard that we had to ride it twice, like so yeah. could enjoy it. Yeah, second time better? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's I love it right so much. Well, Let's see, what are we gonna go right next into? Like a uh, uh, Hagrid's motorbike adventure? Is yeah. it gonna be a letdown after this, you think? I, don't know. I haven't ridden it. Let's go find out. <laughs> okay, so another perk of one of these events you can just walk up and take a butterbeer and just walk away. How cool is that? <laughs> it's your like, first official butterbeer, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's very sweet. Alright, well that was my first time on Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure and I know it was your first time too. What'd you think? Oh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was a lot better than I was expecting. I didn't quite know what to expect. I hadn't really like read up on it or really seen seen much about it, but uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was uh, a lot better than I was uh, expecting. A lot of surprising. Twist. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> really cool. I think we're gonna start making our way back up to the front of the park now. Maybe grab another snack on the way out, but I think the thing is winding down now, so we are uh, gonna start heading out. Churro. Pretzel. I think that is gonna do it for us tonight from the February Orlando Informer meetup. Wow, what a great night. Yeah, like tons of good food, road, so many rides, and uh, got to spend a nice night together. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You enjoying that pretzel? No, <laughs> yeah. Not so. I know. Thank you so much for coming along with us and watching the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm Travis. That's Jolene. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.